welcome back to my channel so i am excited because i have officially made it to paris i actually landed a couple hours ago and checked into my hotel um needed to take a nap because y'all i am jet lagged like crazy in total it was a nine hour flight but i it wasn't consecutive like i had a little bit of a break a you know a layover um and then made my way to paris but i'm tired I'm tired, but it's time to get up because we have a full, like when I tell y'all no sleep, no sleep. We have a full jam pack itinerary for the week. I will be staying for six nights, um, a full week in Paris and we're gonna do all the things, all the things. So I'm super excited to take you out on this journey with me. Um, I'll probably do a room tour a little bit later because again, I came in and went straight to sleep. So it's a little bit messy. So I'll introduce y'all to the hotel a little bit later. Um, but I did wanna kinda do a quick little OOTD because we are about to head to dinner and it is the theme of the night is all white and royal blue. So we did have a theme. Um, so yeah, I'm about to prop y'all up so y'all can see my outfit. So this is my outfit for the night. Very simple, very classy, very mindful, very demure, okay? Like night one, I wasn't trying to do too much. So here we go. Y'all, I had no idea where we were going. I thought we were going to a restaurant that was like right next door to the Eiffel. First of all, the views here are so beautiful. We got tickets and we were going up an elevator and I'm like, are we taking a tour? No girl, the restaurant is on the first level of the Eiffel Tower. Like, how crazy is that? We are eating dinner in the Eiffel Tower on night one. I didn't see that coming. Um, we went to this place called Madame Brasserie and this was a very like classy restaurant the views from here were so amazing we had a three course meal um and the meal included two glasses of champagne as well which was nice y'all so let's get into the food so this was the first course it was like a tomato tart type of situation which was good this is monkfish, y'all. I had no idea what monkfish was. Please, when you Google it, do not look at the fish. You need to Google the full meal, okay? A warning you. The dessert was good. Um, it was almost like a sorbet situation. So, yeah, honestly, I would give the food like, mm, I would give the food maybe like a six out of 10. Like, it wasn't that great, but the views made up for it, okay? The views were impeccable. Um, and also, when we didn't realize there was actually a paralympic game that was happening as soon as we were leaving like as we were eating dinner um we were able to kind of walk across from the restaurant and saw a little bit of the paralympics which was kind of cool to see we heard a lot of cheering and all that stuff so yeah i mean overall like this was a top tier introduction into paris like eating dinner at the eiffel and then seeing the eiffel at night like paris at night time y'all 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 um for those who don't know the eiffel tower sparkles at the top of every hour beginning at 9 p.m okay we actually went to a rooftop bar to do a little nightcap and got the perfect view of the eiffel sparkling at night like it was just so amazing so amazing day one for the books good morning y'all so it is day two in paris oh y'all can see the room i'm, I'm gonna still give y'all a room tour a little bit later like literally my head is blocking the entire room is that small but it's okay because you know we be outside majority of the day so we don't really need the room to be that big, but I will give y'all a tour of the hotel and the room a little bit later, okay? I just woke up, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's day two. Yesterday, yesterday was great. Again, we, oh, I don't think I gave a recap. Let me give a quick recap. Yesterday, we went, 
checked in. Flight was fine. Um, checking into the hotel was fine. We have a personal driver the entire, our entire trip to Paris. So excited. So excited. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's just something about having a driver in Paris, y'all. Like, first of all, I'm whispering and it's the morning time. So this is as loud as my voice is going to get right now. Um, but something about having a driver in Paris is just like top tier top tier okay um we went to the eiffel tower like when i tell you like 10 out of 10 the introduction in paris was amazing we went had dinner at the eiffel tower i didn't even know that the eiffel tower had a restaurant in it i guess i'm late like i that's just i had no idea like i'm thinking oh, okay we're going to the eiffel tower to have dinner i'm thinking there's like a restaurant next to it and then I was like, oh, we're walking to the Eiffel Tower. Like, okay, maybe it's at the bottom floor. No, we go up. I'm like, are we taking a tour? Are we going to tell? Like, where are we going? We literally, the first floor had um, had a restaurant in it. And it was just like such a beautiful view. We had a three course meal. We got to try wines. Like, it was just, it was amazing. Ooh, these bags, child. Um, <laughs> it was amazing. So, after that, we took some pictures, then we went to a rooftop bar, had a little nightcap, um, and we came back. It was cute. It was a cute, it was a really like, that was a great day one. That was a, the most amazing, like start off with a bang. Today we have a long day, a long day ahead of us. Um, it is about 8.30. I need to get ready within 30 minutes. I was trying to get some extra sleep, child. This, um, the jet lag, Paris is six hours ahead of East Coast, and ooh, child, my lash is is kicking my butt. This time difference, the time change is kicking my butt. I woke up at five o'clock, and I was up for two hours. Or no, no, I woke up at yeah, I woke up at five o'clock. I think I was up for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I tried to force myself to go back to sleep at six thirty. Woke up two hours later, and I was eight thirty. So now I'm trying to get ready, or I'm about to start getting ready. Today we're doing a vintage car tour, which I'm super excited. So we're all dressing up in like our retro fashion, Paris fashion. So um, yeah, so we're about to go ahead and get ready. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Bye. Yeah, it's about
After our vintage car tour, we ended the tour with a champagne toast um, with all the girls and the fellas. This was unexpected, but it was so cute. Um, such a cute setup. We had champagne, macaroons, and yeah, it was just really, really given like black girl luxury. It really was. Um, afterwards, we headed back into the cars to our next destination where we were going to do a photo shoot in front of the Eiffel Tower. So we were actually going to walk just around the city, enjoy the city a little bit, and go to different locations um, that are popular for taking pictures in front of the Eiffel Tower. We actually had a personal photographer with us, so I will let you all enjoy that moment. After our photo shoot with the Eiffel, it was time to head over to the Louvre. I told y'all we had a full day, okay? It was packed. But before we headed over, we were hungry, so we need to get some brunch. So there was actually a restaurant that's right um, next door to the Louvre called Le Cafe Marley. And so we went here for brunch. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you all. The food that's at these touristy places, are it's bad. It's bad. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I ordered an omelet. Um, yeah, it just wasn't good. Like, I think the tourist Paris food just I would not recommend at all. Um, but you know, we're here for the vibes, here for the experience, right? Um, I want y'all to take a look at this omelet though. Like, what what is that? I've never why is it so runny? Like, why is it watery? I just I don't know. Anyway, um, the line to get into the Louvre wasn't that bad. We actually were kind of in and out. And I think we this was a Tuesday when we went. So maybe it was just like the time of day. Um, but it was a really huge place. I was not expecting it to be as big as it was. So it took us, honestly, like if you're planning to Louvre, you need to book like a full day. I would plan to get there super early. And even then, you might need like two days to get through the whole thing. We only had maybe like an hour <laughs> maybe like two hours maybe we were in there for like two hours but at this point we were exhausted needed a nap and we needed to kind of just like decompress for the rest of the day So we had a very full day today. Um, literally came back and crashed, completely crashed to like 
something serious, okay? I've been sleeping for the past like four hours and I needed I needed that, okay? So I just got dressed, do my hair up in a cute little bun, whatever. We're about to go to dinner and then we're about to see what the night the nightlife talking about from Paris. Like we trying to see what the nightlife talking about. It is a Monday. So I'm a little concerned, but you know, it's just, we go, we see, and if we don't see nothing, we go home and go to bed. Cause I need to be in bed anyway. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to do a little OOTD for you tonight. And then we about to head out. So let's go. All right. Um, I don't know. I hate the lighting in here. Like the lighting is not, but I just got on a LBD, little black dress and Carl Lagerfeld uh, crossbody bag. And that's it. We keep it simple. That's it. Bye. So just, it is, today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, today's day three, okay? I am here until Friday. There's still a lot. We've done a lot, but there's still a lot more to go. So I just got ready, um, about to head downstairs to meet the girls. I, we are, today is raining a little bit. So we were supposed to have a picnic in front of the Eiffel Tower. Instead, we're just gonna go to brunch and then we're still gonna do an Eiffel Tower tour. So we're gonna go all the way to the top and then we're gonna go shopping. Today will be a shopping day, okay? I have a list of things that I wanna get. So I'm super excited, get the VIP treatment. So um, this is what I'm wearing. It's a casual day. Again, it's a little bit rainy. So I'm just like super, super casual. So I'm gonna give you guys a, a OTD real quick. Okay, so again, they don't have really good mirrors in here, y'all, but this is what we're doing. I love these glasses, so I'm wearing them like every day. I have a little half up, half down situation going. This Mercy t shirt that I got from, uh, I think I got this from Target. This is actually probably the latest 
future collective drop so i was like it's very fitting so i got it and i'm just wearing some pants with i don't know if you can see my little low first so we're keeping it very simple very casual today um and then later on for dinner i'm gonna change and be fly so let's go ahead and get into this brunch and shopping bye <laughs> If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love Another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. Just say I do, because 
cuz I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You can be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away You know love a woman that can take your spot My love So don't give away My love So don't give away I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grass, side by side. You could be my baby, and I'm making my lady. Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love Okay, you all, I don't even know what day it is. This might be day four, <laughs> but we are on our way to do a day trip to Versailles. So that is the King's Palace that they turned into a museum. And I'm super excited. So I won't talk long, you guys. Just enjoy a little bit of this road trip and we'll get into the day trip. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry oh. I won't let no one oh, come yes. and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, I'm to do That's why I'm not in my life with you I wanna please you in any way I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand? Okay, you all, so here we are at Versailles. This was actually one of my favorite days of the trip. Um, we started off in this room that really kind of showed the evolution of the king's palace. Um, and it, it, it really just kind of showed through all of the kings, their reign, and how each of them added on to uh, the king's palace until the last king kind of made it and turned it into a museum, which was pretty cool to see. Um, I was just completely mesmerized by just like the architecture. Like one of my favorite things is just, I'm really big on art, architecture, um, the sculptures, and just to know that, you know, all of these things were created by people, like by hand. And like, it took in some cases years to like, paint a ceiling or to create you know like a sculpture or something like it was just so cool to like really understand about the history we had such an amazing tour guide during this time period it was just so much like I love I'm a nerd for like this type of stuff so uh it was just really cool so I'm gonna give you guys there was a lot to see here so I'll let you guys enjoy it and then I'll pop back in a little bit later
Come through, I think I need you here I swear it's time to keep these feelings to myself Now you're the one I'm thinking of My higher grandma day trip to Versailles we actually went back got dressed because we were headed to the Moulin Rouge okay I'm telling y'all we had a packed day um this trip was so fun every all the girls looked so cute going to this show I was actually super excited to see this as you know this is like a staple touristy thing to do when you are in Paris okay um, and this place literally lights the city at night so I was super excited that we finally had the chance to go and see this show um, it is a dinner show so we did have food or dinner prior to the actual show going on let me just tell y'all something <laughs> it was a three course meal that was included in part of the ticket but the food was not good like i swear we were hungry this entire day. i i kid you not okay luckily there was a five guys right across the street from moulin rouge so the whole time we were in the show we just could not wait till it was over so that we could go to five guys like no lie like the food was not good but i did enjoy the show they did a great job interacting with the crowd um and then also like it was just cool it was just really cool to see i think the theme was just like the evolution of moulin rouge over the years so that was like pretty cool to see but yeah we definitely ended up at this five guys after because we was hungry okay so the next day i'm sorry just counting the days i don't know what day this is but stay with me okay the next day we did a foodie tour on Mo momart um which is a very popular street within paris now let me tell you something for this to be a foodie tour again we were hungry okay but what i did not realize was that we were actually gathering food for the boat tour that we had at the sim river later that day okay didn't know what was kind of going on and i'm not gonna lie to y'all this was not our best day this was not our best day the weather was a little wonky it was cold it was raining but you know we were champs throughout it all and we made the best that we could of i think this might have been like our last full day um at paris uh the boat tour 
I guess it was okay. It wasn't what either of my fellow ladies expected, right? But again, you make the best of what you have. Um, and we were determined to kind of end on a high note. great time on my trip to Paris. Stay tuned for my next video as I give an honest review of the travel agency that I booked with. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!